post 1900. Following the large U.S. surge in sightings in June and early July 1947, on July 9, 1947, United States Army Air Forces, USAF, intelligence, in cooperation with the FBI, began a formal investigation into selected sightings with characteristics that could not be immediately rationalized, such as Kenneth Arnold's. The USAF used all of its top scientists to determine whether such a phenomenon could, in fact, occur. The research was being conducted with the thought that the flying objects might be a celestial phenomenon, or that they might be a foreign body mechanically devised and controlled. Three weeks later in a preliminary defense estimate, the Air Force investigation had decided that, this flying saucer situation is not all imaginary or seen too much in some natural phenomenon. Something is really f something is really flying around. A further review by the intelligence and technical divisions of the Air Materiel Command at Wright Field reached the same conclusion. It reported that the phenomenon is something real and not visionary or fictitious, and there were disc-shaped objects, metallic in appearance, as big as man-made aircraft. They were characterized by extreme rates of climb, and, maneuverability, general lack of noise, absence of a trail, occasional formation flying, and evasive behavior when sighted or contacted by friendly aircraft and radar, suggesting a controlled craft. It was therefore recommended in late September 1947 that an official Air Force investigation be set up. It was also recommended that other government agencies should assist in the investigation. Note 4. Project Sign. This led to the creation of the Air Force's Project Sign at the end of 1947, one of the earliest government studies to come to a secret extraterrestrial conclusion. In August 1948, sign investigators wrote a top-secret intelligence estimate to that effect, but the Air Force Chief of Staff Hoyt Vandenberg ordered it destroyed. The existence of this suppressed report was revealed by several insiders who had read it, such as astronomer and USAF consultant J. Allen Hynek and Captain Edward J. Ruppelt, the first head of the USAF's Project Blue Book. Another highly classified U.S. study was conducted by the CIA's Office of Scientific Investigation, OSS-I, in the latter half of 1952 in response to orders from the National Security Council, NSC. This study concluded UFOs were real physical objects of potential threat to national security. One OSS-I memo to the CIA director, DCI, in December read. The reports of incidents convince us that there is something going on that must have immediate attention, sightings of unexplained objects at great altitudes and traveling at high speeds in the vicinity of major U.S. defense installations are of such a nature that they are not attributable to natural phenomena or any known types of aerial vehicles. The matter was considered so urgent that OS-I drafted a memorandum from the DCI to the NSC proposing that the NSC establish an investigation of UFOs as a priority project throughout the intelligence and the defense research and development community. It also urged the DCI to establish an external research project of top-level scientists, now known as the Robertson Panel to analyze the problem of UFOs. The OS-I investigation was called off after the Robertson panel's negative conclusions in January 1953. Condon Committee Report conducted by the Condon Committee for the USAF and published as the Condon Report arrived at a negative conclusion in 1968. Controversy surrounded the report, both before and after its release. It has been observed that the report was harshly criticized by numerous scientists, particularly at the powerful AIO, which, recommended moderate, but continuous scientific work on UFOs. In an address to the US, James E. MacDonald said he believed science had failed to mount adequate studies of the problem and criticized the Condon report and earlier studies by the USAF as scientifically deficient. He also questioned the basis for Condon's conclusions and argued that the reports of UFOs have been laughed out of scientific court. J. Allen Hynek, 
an astronomer who worked as a USAF consultant from 1948, sharply criticized the Condon Committee, criticized the Condon Committee report and later wrote two non-technical books that set forth the case for continuing to investigate UFO reports. Ruppelt recounted his experiences with Project Blue Book, a USAF investigation that preceded Condon's notable U.S. cases. The Roswell UFO incident, 1947, involved New Mexico civilians, local law enforcement officers, and the U.S. military, the latter of whom allegedly collected physical evidence from the UFO crash site. The Mantel UFO Incident January 7, 1948 The Betty and Barney Hill Abduction, 1961, was the first reported abduction incident. In the Kecksburg UFO incident, Pennsylvania, 1965, residents reported seeing a bell-shaped object crash in the area. Police officers, and possibly military personnel, were sent to investigate. The Travis Walton abduction case, 1975, the movie Fire in the Sky, 1993, was based on this event, but greatly embellished the original account. The Phoenix Lights March 13, 1997 2006 O'Hare International Airport UFO Sighting The 2004 USS Nimitz UFO Incident and 2014 USS Theodore Roosevelt UFO Incidents Brazil Document on sighting of a UFO occurred on December 16, 1977, in the state of Bahia, Brazil. On October 31, 2008, the National Archives of Brazil began receiving from the Aeronautical Documentation and History Center part of the documentation of the Brazilian Air Force regarding the investigation of the appearance of UFOs in Brazil. Currently this collection gathers cases between 1952 and 2016. Canada In Canada, the Department of National Defense has dealt with reports sightings and investigations of UFOs across Canada. In addition to conducting investigations into crop circles in Duhamel, Alberta, it still considers unsolved the Falcon Lake incident in Manitoba and the Shag Harbor UFO incident in Nova Scotia. Early Canadian studies included Project Magnet, 1950-1954, and Project Second Story, 1952-1954 supported by the Defense Research Board. France On March 2007, the French Space Agency was published an archive of UFO sightings and other phenomena online. 66. French studies include Jepin slash Sepra slash Gpan, 1977, with Incans, French Space Agency, the longest ongoing government-sponsored investigation. About 22% of 6,000 cases studied remain unexplained. The official opinion of Jepin slash Sepra slash Pen has been neutral, stating on their FAQ page that their mission is fact-finding for the scientific community, not rendering an opinion. They add they can neither prove nor disprove the extraterrestrial hypothesis, EDH but their steering committee's clear position is that they cannot discard the possibility that some fraction of the very strange 22% of unexplained cases might be due to distant and advanced civilizations. Possibly their bias may be indicated by their use of the terms pan, French, or app, English equivalent, for unidentified aerospace phenomenon. Whereas AP is normally used by English organizations stands for Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon, a more neutral term. In addition, the three heads of the studies have gone on record in stating that UFOs were real physical flying machines beyond our knowledge or that the best explanation for the most inexplicable cases was an extraterrestrial one. In 2008, Michel Skeller President of the Association Renautique et Astronautique de France, 3F, created the Sigma Commission. Its purpose was to investigate UFO phenomenon worldwide. A progress report published in May 2010 stated that the central hypothesis proposed by the Comda report is perfectly credible. In December 2012, 
the final report of the Sigma Commission was submitted to Skeller. Following the submission of the final report, the Sigma II Commission is to be formed with a mandate to continue the scientific investigation of UFO phenomenon. The most notable cases of UFO sightings in France include the Valenzuela UFO incident in 1965, and the Trans-en-Provence case in 1981.